Hey, good morning, folks. Out here today on one of the lakes at Tenor Rock uh, for the uh, Kayak Bass Team Series tournament we have out here today. You see, I am surrounded by duckweed and basically just floating on duckweed out here, but I'm technically in 12 foot of water. So, <laughs> uh, might be an interesting day. I think I'm gonna start out with a frog and we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, my team, the Florida Hooligans, we're out here competing against uh, three other teams. So far, there's only one other guy out here with me. I think some other people just showed up, but they're on a, they're on a boat. So, not too concerning to me. We'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna be hot. I think it's gonna be a bit of a grind. I'm hoping these early morning fish cooperate and uh, can get um, a good a good bit of fish before it gets too hot and the bite kind of shuts off. I'm hoping that with this lake as covered as it is, I'm hoping they, you know, bite a little better out here. Uh, Cause this is definitely pretty unique out here in Tenoraca, a lake just completely slammed with um, duckweed. Um, and there's, there's floating mats out here too to punch. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get to it. Got about nine minutes to uh, lines in. I'm just making sure all my stuff's ready, checking my knots, you know, that sort of stuff. So I think I'm gonna start with the flapping frog this morning. I'll start with a black one. Normally I would use a white one, but I don't know. I just had a feeling to play with a black one today. And uh, I think it'll stand out better with that uh, in that um, duckweed. So we'll see how that works. About eight minutes ago, I did see another kayak show up. So there's at least three of us out here today. One of those might be a boat. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Some of these kayaks look like boats. Okay, yeah, there's two boats and a kayak. So lake's full now. And uh, it's just me and one other competitor, it looks like. So hopefully those, uh, those boats don't mess us up too bad. But yeah, I got this end of the lake to myself for now. That'll probably change. So we'll see how it goes. Time to go. Oh, yeah, this stuff's thick, thick with three seats. Is that a mudfish? No, it's a yes. Oh my good lord. Holy crap. Oh, oh my. Oh my Holy crap. Oh. 
Oh my god, that might be my PB. Sit still for five seconds. Come on. I'll put you back in the water. That's why people put their nets there. That's exactly why people put their nets there. Oh my gosh, I was going to show that fish to everyone. I got scale from it. Oh. oh. Glad I got a picture. She was done with me. Got him covered in duckweed and fish slime and everything in between. Oh, please be a good picture. I say that touches. 22 and 3 quarters. <laughs> I'm just a shaking a little bit. <sighs> okay, I think I've uh, recovered from, <laughs> from that. Yeah, caught that. Black Spro, Flapping Frog. My favorite bait right now. Okay, let's throw back over there and see what happens. Just not enough deck space in this kayak to do all these things. score is 14 and a half. They'll fix it if it's wrong. I had a feeling this frog would do well out here today. Um, several weeks ago I came out here and uh, just a fun fish and I used this frog for the first time and uh, that's sort of where I figured out you know this hey this is something unique 
for this lake especially. Uh, all this duckweed sort of just moves around in a map, a giant field of it. And it, um, it's about two or three inches thick in some spots. But this frog, for some reason, can just slice through it. And I fish in it, fish in it like a, uh, a popping frog. And uh, those kickers on the back will make the noise for me without clogging up the front like a normal frog. I mean, a normal popping frog would out here. Because I've used a popping frog out here, and it did not go well. This is about the time where it becomes a mental game. Gone through an entire stretch where I thought the fish would be, and they don't seem to be biting. But I've also caught all of my fish on the same lure. So I think I'm just gonna go through here with the frog, make a loop, and then come back and start punching, because that's normally how I catch most of my fish on this lake, is, is punching. But this uh, huge area of duckweed just kind of threw a wrench in those plans because I also use a wacky through here. I can't with the duckweed. So we'll keep going with the frog, I think, for now. Unless I don't get a bite in the next 20 minutes or so. Go ahead and switch over to our daytime tactics. Pretty sure that was a gar. No! Dang, that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. All right, let's try that again. Well, I just uh, turned the GoPro off for a little while and uh, it was getting hot and I just uh, just lost another good one. Same thing that happened last time, just did not sit the hook right on him. So I think I'm just gonna go around the perimeter of the lake and uh, throw this frog 
seems to be the only thing that's working. Punching's not panning out like it should, or usually does. quarter inch out of him. Oh, well, got another decent one. Uh, again, on the flapping frog. Let's get this sucker out of here. Not a bad fish. It's time I join the live stream. Hey, Nathaniel. Hey, how's it going? Doing pretty good. How are you doing out there today? Uh, not too bad. Have to bear with me. This is the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> Seven five. And, huh? Should have been a yeah, twenty-two and three quarters. There we go. Darn right I do. That was me. Oh, who was that? Who that? Who I got a uh, Scorpion DC. Yeah. Well, it's been a couple hours. We had a mishap. Uh, a gar bit the foot off of my black flapping frog, but I put on the shad colored one and uh, just got another fish. But like I said, it's been a while. I jumped on the live stream for a little while to support those guys. Not that much happened during that, but uh, I think we're, our team's doing okay. We got a couple of fish we need to upgrade for sure. We're still in the running for sure. That's that's the important thing. Um, so hopefully this, this fish right here helps out with that. Hopefully he cooperates. He's pretty skinny, so I don't think he's got much willpower in him or energy to really fight. He actually missed it the first time and came around the second time and got it. So. He 
my phone overheated. It's been a day. Be free. Okay, so so 16 and a half looks like. I need to clean the lens on my phone or something. It's not focusing. But yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty dang hot out here. I'm hoping I can get on the other side of the lake maybe and find some shade in a little while when the sun starts to tilt the other way. But oh, how big was that fish I didn't forget. Might be showing a little bit of a heat exhaustion already. So 16 and a half. All right. Well, I'll put you away till the next one. Well, I got another one. <laughs> I'm out of breath because uh, I almost didn't get him in. He got me mid-twitch on the rod. I wasn't ready for the hook set. And then he immediately like dove into a bunch of weeds. And then whenever he got to the boat, I lifted him up and he got stuck on my, my parking pole. When I finally got him in the in the kayak, the frog came out and he started flopping around in the boat. 16 even. Be free. Woo, okay, it is hot out here. It is 11-11. Make a wish. Absolutely boiling out here. Can't even think straight. I probably need to go find a shade tree and sit under it for a little while and just twitch a wacky rig in the open. On to the next fish. <laughs> I swear I'm not copying marling baits. I just think he's funny. What do you think he says? All right, I'll put you away to the next one. So, finally seem to be getting into a, a punch pattern. I don't know if this will upgrade anything we got, but it'll contribute to my other monthly tournament. So <laughs> might as well score it. Yeah, I figured uh, if the fish are as hot as I am, they are trying their best to find some shade. Which is probably what I should be doing, but instead I'm out here fishing. Okay, so 14, that'll actually help with the KBT tournament too. So. That'll work. Alrighty, sir. Off you go. Oh, don't splash me, please. Whew. All right, it's been another hour or so since my last fish, I think. Um, just got this guy probing around the other side of the lake i'm on i haven't been out here yet today uh nobody else is on the lake with me now so i might as well come out here since the other parts weren't working all that well this guy surprised me a, a cloud came over right as he hit and i uh, paused to enjoy the shade <laughs> so when i hit i wasn't ready for it but thankfully we got him so let's see what he ends up being let's see just that 14. Almost lost him and probably just shorted my external battery. So, oh, what a mess! All right, you done? Okay, you can go. Thank you, sir. Ow. So seems like there's a thunderstorm building nearby. I'm starting to hear a little thunder. Fish are turning on again, especially with the flapping frog. Can't beat that, as hot as it is. Uh, so I think this will cull another fish, hopefully. Uh, I just put a 14 on, so it'll definitely cull that if it's 14's what we need to upgrade. I'm gonna need a cold bath after this, just to cool down. Right. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm not sure if this has ever happened to me before. But that, that right there is a soft-shelled turtle. A very angry one. Yeah. This is going to be fun. I'm going to let him do circles for a minute. I thought that was the biggest bass of my life right there. When I set the hook, it didn't move. All right. Let's uh, try to do this without getting our fingers bit off. You're going to attract a gator, sir. Doing that maneuver. I'm trying to help you. Right. 
There we go. All right. Well, he's going to have a sore mouth for a few a few days. Don't look like he did anything to my line. I think I'm going to trust that. Shoot. I don't know if I got that on camera or anything. Or, or, yeah, I don't know if I got that on camera at all. Anyways, um, there's a pretty good cloud building over me right now, so I think I'm going to put the camera away. Even though someone told me that it would probably be okay in the rain, I'm just, you know, not keen on throwing that money away. So I'm going to uh, put the camera away and uh, batten down the hatches. And hopefully I get a little wet and not struck by lightning. Because I would rather get wet right now. Because, oh crap, it's right there. Okay. Well, that was it. Uh, lines out was a whole minute ago. Um, it's been a crazy 30 minutes uh, since I put the camera away. Uh, it rained. Uh, right as it started rain, I was uh, punching a mat and I hooked into a pretty dang good fish. And I got to see her head and she shook above the water and flung the hook out. So I was pretty upset about that. Uh, said some, uh, some choice words after that one. And then it started raining pretty hard. So I went and hid under a tree for a little bit. But after it finally slacked off, I went back to throwing the, the flapping frog. And let me tell you, I got in on some fish. I mean, it was every other cast I was getting hit. And I managed to catch, I think a 21 and a quarter and then an 18 and three quarters. And I, I really don't know where that put our team. I'm sure you'll find out here in a few seconds. That was some crazy fishing for the last 20 minutes of the tournament. And even on my last cast, I got a bite. I just, it didn't seem like a big fish. So I don't think it would have made much of a difference, but either way, that's some pretty crazy fishing. I wish I could stay out here a little longer, but it's been a long day. I got pretty hot earlier. The rain thankfully cooled me off, but I'm down to my last water bottle. So it's time to go, it's time to go home get these wet clothes off probably take a shower and go to bed because <laughs> i've been up since 3 a.m this morning the results are coming up stay tuned for that i appreciate you guys watching up to this point and if you haven't already please consider subscribing I, I know i keep saying that but it really does help out the channel it helps it grow from there i can do bigger and better things and uh, leave a like uh, for crazy tournament endings i wish i could have got it on film but that's coming towards me and there's also rain over there. So I didn't want to get my equipment torn up. If a camera dies, then I don't have anything to film with. So that's that's just how it is, <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe I'll get a waterproof camera set up here pretty soon, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching guys uh, and tune in next time.